Hello everyone, I'm Sam from Huawei App Gallery and welcome to App Gallery Connect Academy. Today, I will be talking about our material testing service. This service helps you find the best materials to help boost the user conversion rate. Material testing is based on A-B testing, which gives different sets of materials to different experiment groups for responsiveness and helps you find the best set accordingly. Better materials will help you improve your app's exposure and conversion rate. Material testing will be globally available in the near future. Some Chinese developers have proved that the service does live up to expectations, with data showing that the service improved the app CTR by over 20%. Material testing supports both apps and games and allows you to test your text and multimedia materials. Text materials include the introduction and brief information about your app. Multimedia materials include the app icon and app screenshots and are all fundamental to releasing an app. Material testing will test how users react to different sets of materials and in doing so help you find the best set for your app. Rather than relying on assumptions to make decisions, material testing can help you leverage big data analytics to make objective decisions about how each set of materials performs on App Gallery. Next, let me introduce the basic service process to you. A material test consists of three steps. Create an experiment, run the experiment, and end the experiment. Be aware that you can create an experiment only for an app that's released. When creating an experiment in App Gallery Connect, define multiple sets of materials and set the test user scope. Then submit your experiment for manual review. Once approved, you can run the experiment. By running the experiment, different sets of materials will be distributed to different users through App Gallery. During the experiment, you can check the impression CTR and details page CTR over a specified period. These two indicators reflect the effect of your materials and function as an important decision-making reference. Finally, you can end the experiment by replacing a set of materials currently used with another set or by retaining the current set. Next, let's move on to the operations supported by material testing. The first operation is creating an experiment. Note that an experiment name must be unique. The second operation is managing experiments. Currently, you can create an experiment for each of the six supported languages, which means you can create up to six experiments. Each experiment can involve four sets of materials, including one set already in use and three variant sets. You can check non-executed, ongoing, and historical experiments on the service page. For non-executed experiments, their status is also displayed. During experiment creation, first select a language, define different sets of materials in the selected language, and set the total percentage of users. In addition, you need to specify whether the experiment is run manually or automatically after approval. Then determine the material scope and submit the application for review. For an approved experiment, different sets of materials will be distributed to different users. After a period of time, App Gallery Connect collects statistics on the material performance and calculates their impression CTR and details page CTR indicators for each set of materials. The two indicators are based on big data analytics and so have a one day delay. To improve the accuracy of the two indicators, it's best if your experiment runs for longer than one week. You can check the experiment results on the service page and make your final decision accordingly. Well, that's all for this episode of App Gallery Connect Academy. To learn more about our services, scan the QR code to visit our website. And if you have any questions, please send us an email. Thanks for watching and see you next time.